So. So, here we are with our first game of the evening. It looks like the audio works. And we already have Yo Yoshi with the first two. That's a Zalandra in the river now. And it's not actually the first to fall in the Here we have it. Um. Oh. Now it should be alright with the name. Yep. And we already have. Okay. Also, for the basics, you have to come out the chat. Okay. Yeah. Please tell us if you don't hear us or something is too numb. Let's see. Rush with you, the side piece, precious. Ooh, and catches him with the down beam. Well, I really have to find something opening. Get back into the game close before the kill. Nice guy. Last stop. Nice up for punishing. But so far the pressure is really on Yoshi's side. Oh, Yoshi had 100% damage here, but he has a stock advantage. Laya has to be careful here. Yeah, sitting at 70, 70 pretty. And yep. sad enough kill. Yeah, Laya really good with the up punishes, but said it's not enough in this matchup so far. He really has to take the stock as soon as possible, or it looks slim for him. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Even if he manages to take the stock, it's gonna be 100% against That's zero. But it's kind and of almost. The other problem is Yoshi is kind of, for a floaty, a really heavy character, so it's hard to kill him. Yeah. Down the, no shield break. Two oh, times very lucky. Tough. I, I'm not sure if Laya can do it. I don't know him as a player, but this is gonna be a very, very tough combat. Yeah. Nice up the punish. Finally able to make that stop. Now they're both down to the last stop, but Laya has to play near perfectly here. And doesn't manage to do it. That's game. Yeah, perfect. Nice for the feedback. Yoshi wins. Game's a bit loud, except for the commentators. Oh, where was the stupid button? We must show the number of headset later. Yeah, it should. Yeah, I hope it benefits because the problem we have is with the face max, you can't hear us that quite well. Okay, yeah, so it's perfect. Good. So we have our first match for Yoshi. Let's see what Laya does in adapting. And hopefully it doesn't get squished too much. Oh, I'm yep. sorry. Go to this to the match. Huh? Right now, Yoshi once again the aggressor. Okay, here. PG, if you're watching. Okay, he's texting. Yeah, um, thank you very much for the feedback. And oh. Uh, hi from Berkur, Leonel. I looked away for like a second. Did Yoshi just... Yeah, <laughs> what he, the... He just okay. messed up. He oh yeah, he messed up for no reason. Yeah, he messed up with a side B. Oh. Sometimes it's a bit tricky to get out. A lot of people you mesh uh, A to get out of it. Oh, but yeah. you have to mesh B to get out of it as fast as possible. Alright, alright, alright. But still, as you said before, uh, Yoshi 
the player pretty yeah. good and the character is a bit more on the heavy side he's a bit harder to knock out here yeah, so, so luckily for Leia, but it looks like Yoshi makes a small and slow comeback. I said he missed the punish on uh, her. There's really a lot of downbeats. Nice. Nice punish here. Putting Leia off stage and Ooh, trying and to get keep him Leia with there. the up smash on the edge. Woo. All right, both. Yeah, that Yoshi. Was talk. Yoshi has a lot more damage on him, but he's not in danger of getting KO'd yet. Not as far as I know. <laughs> Keep in mind, I don't play Smash when I'm talking up my ass. But it seems pretty good for him right now. He's able to even out the damage a little bit. And as long as he keeps it safe, he can make a good comeback. Like we saw, he does really nice punishes Ooh. and has strong attacks. But, but the side B almost kills him. Yeah, he has to be careful here. And always with oh, the risky down B. No, nice DI. Ooh. Hardly survived. He now really has to be careful. Maybe takes up some space, but still with the risky downbeats. He gets those punishes. Ooh. Nice chase. Ah, that was close for a spy. Oh, now Yoshi with believe. 160 oh. and finally oh, kills it. I was just it. about to say, I can't believe he's still on this stage. All right, now reset to zero. Is he able uh, No follow-up from the optil. Is he able to even out the stocks without taking too much damage himself? Let's see. Ooh, nice up smash punish out of shit. Looking and the spike, spike, and it's even again. Right. Liam may be on his last stock in the winner bracket. Let's see with what he can answer. Liam definitely has to turn it up right now. He can't yeah, afford any mistakes if he wants to stay on the yeah. winner side of this tournament. He has now a little bit of an advantage, but like we saw, Yoshi can take that immediately back. Ooh. Ooh, close away from the up smash hitbox. Uh, F smash. Oh, he's gonna try to spike him off stage again. I can feel it. Yoshi's playing that off stage. Ooh, nice game. tech. Again with the backer, almost kills Liar. Oh. Ooh, that he's could be, be risky. Careful. Yeah, he's gotta be careful not no, to jump off the stage. No, he managed to get back. Yeah, because when Yoshi loses his jump, he's almost useless. Yeah. Oh, nice. Again. Yeah, now the dime be really always with the risky options. Now it worked out for him. Let's see to the end. Yoshi managed to get back into the lead. Who tries Same. to get a roll read. You know that Yoshi is trying to finish this off right and now, but he punished. messes up. No, nice DI. Oh, I yeah, thought Liar that with the amazing fast up he punished. I thought when that screen pops up, it's over. No, no, it's most often, but if you really DI hard and believe in Jesus, then you might I don't know what DI is, but tell me later, because this is getting <laughs> intense. Both even at a, about 117, 115% here. Ooh, no, not with dummy again. Oh, and it takes the stock. Can't recover this time. So, and Leia Leia will stay alive. Still has another chance in the winner bracket in our first round. Man of culture of the zero suit, Samus. So now for the people who are probably new for Smash, the eyeing is that when you're launched into a direction, you can input uh, across that direction, so okay. you live longer, so you do the um, the flying path that you have. Okay, okay. And so is that like a, is that like hard to do? Is that like a just frame in those situations? Where not really. It's more like uh, at the start of the hit, it can really be decided, but afterwards, it's really just knowing how to di. Okay. okay. If to if you have to uh, go up or if that certain move to left to right. You just have to know uh, the trajectory and go into the opposite side. Exactly. Gotcha, gotcha. Ooh, we always say Leo with a 40% lead at Yoshi. It looks like he made his adjustments. Yeah, it's looking very cool. good for Leo. Yeah, he has a really good lead, but it's not close to death for Yoshi. I mean, no, not at all, but still, it's looking a lot better than the first two yeah, games. Yeah, definitely. Is. Especially the first game, you just saw Yoshi bully him all the time, taking stocks left and right, and now, Laya is in the lead, and he's like, he's setting the tone for this match right now. Yeah, definitely. Already at 100% on Yoshi. So Yoshi's fighting back. He's not going to give up that easy. Yeah, he really has to be careful. If he now gets an LP, yeah, ooh, like I said, was oh. close. Is he uh, able to spike? No, no, he doesn't get it. Ooh, close answer with the F smash. That would have hit, it would have been bad. And, and the side B takes the first stock of the last round. Splats across the screen. That's number one down for Yoshi. See, Yoshi and now for the first time in the set, Yoshi uh, 
Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Naya has in the lead and Yoshi on the back foot. Now he's the underdog. Yeah, but he has to be really careful because Zero is a bit of a squishy character and can die easily at some nasty hit. Oh. And we see and him fish for those when he gets there. it. It's basically even right now that little bit of damage on Yoshi does not mean anything. Yeah, well, what's a bit, a bit interesting is that Yoshi not, doesn't really follow up with up airs to pressure Zero in the air. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure why that is, but I'm sure he has his reasons. Yeah, Zero has a down air, but uh, if you do an up tilt, you can follow up, and he never did that. He might not know about but it. But it's really even on the second star. Let's see what takes the lead. It looks like Leia keeps his distance a bit, so he can pressure, but Yoshi finds his way in. Yeah. Nice but it does, it does feel like uh, Samus has the better range here, so he might have to play the distance game, not get too close. Yeah, definitely. To the chunky Yoshi damage. Oh, gets it by the egg, though. Oh, and the up smash gets him to stop. Oh, funky in the chat. Hey, guys. Right, Lion in the lead right now. And yeah, and it looks good. Looking, oh, gets the spike. Too bad. No, Health definitely wise. not. Sadly, the uh, forward B doesn't really hit much. Oh, nice punish. Let's see what he answers for. Nice back air. Keeps Yoshi out, but still gets a bit too close. Back and forth, he throws the egg. Nice block. And Leah really has to watch out that he can keep his lead now, like we saw before. Yeah. It can get, it can change really fast. Oh, nice block. He usually always got hit by that. Who gets the throw? Yoshi's no, gotta be careful. No, was a bit too early with the read. Yoshi's gotta be careful. We've seen him get knocked out at about that HP before. Ooh, already ready with the off up smash. Oh, and gets there the we go. Smash. All right, even on stocks, but way behind on HP. Will Yoshi be able to make this comeback? <laughs> it's not looking too bad right now. Got to be careful not to get juggled out of the stage here. Oh, keeps his distance, tries to get some percentage in with the eggs. Yeah, even it up before you go in. That's pretty smart. But like yeah, we but said, Samus yeah. probably has the better range in this matchup. Yeah, and here Sarah also destroys the eggs, so he, she definitely has the advantage. Let's oh, see nice. how they fish for the kills. Yoshi, Yoshi just playing the center. He doesn't want to get. He doesn't want to go off stage yet, even though he has a pretty powerful spike. Oh, doesn't get him by the zap. Oh, nice! Oh, jumps right over. Opening. Gets a and bunch of damage, and it's about even right now. Yeah, center stage. Let's see what he does with it. Will he get it? He, Both he, players are really careful to find their openings. Yeah, playing it very safe. We got about three minutes on the clock, but I'm pretty sure this is gonna end in the next few seconds here. Oh, blocks the entire No, hit. both really scared and careful at the moment for her punishes. Yeah. Nice. Gets the fair. And... It's still a back and forth. Again oh. with the down beyond that range. Did not get punished for it. Lucky Yoshi. Oh, hits gets him out the of the air with the egg. Ooh. Next hit could decide it. Close. Both oh. really at death's gate. Anything could do it right now. Let's see. At least for Yoshi. Oh, a bit too late. There the we go! And we'll he's finish out. it! And Yoshi takes it with a good comeback. Oh. Boy, at the start it really looked like Leo would take back. it. Yeah, you see him lean back there. He worked hard for this one. Yeah, definitely, and he earned it. It started to slip away at first, but he got right back. That was a close set, and you see, like. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> Yoshi's why is the pizza really tour being linked? Yeah, one. For people. I think someone has to update the exclamation mark bracket because it's still linked no, to the pizza tour. The reason for it is because Tekken's more important. Oh, I mean, I agree with that, but <laughs> I can't really say that on a Smash stream. Well, we just did, so... No. <laughs> oh. well, I'm quickly going to ask them for their names. All right. Yeah. Nice play. Yeah, the Shaima suicide of the sub entity. Alright, thank you, Donkey Flame Master, for uh, posting the actual brackets, I'm assuming. Alright, in the meantime, we see uh, Rooka Fizzle, I know that one, from Twitter. Right? Uh, right? That guy? Yes. Yeah, yeah, alright, alright, alright. See, I know something.
and I'm just I'm just struggling with this. Wait, let me just let me just switch that back to German, cause uh, there we go. All right, I was able to do it. And the other guy's called. Ooh. Oh, ooh. that's with all caps. Never mind. Oh wait, we just all caps everything before. Stuck in the old overlay. I'm sorry. Trust me. At some point, I'm gonna be able to to fix these these names. But in the meantime, I'll transition to the match. And there we go. You got the proper names in right now. Not quite sure about the sides. I'm just gonna open the chat and see if people people are able to uh, <coughs> correct me here. But as far as I'm concerned, uh, Huha is playing the Wii Fit Trainer and and uh, Ruka Frizzle is playing the robot. I don't have like an actual Smash player next to me right now, so I, you know, there's gotta be a lot of errors. But it still looks like a pretty intense match right here. Both about even on the percentages. Oh. All right, Ruka mates, we fit. All right, so we're gonna switch this around. All right, this should be right. We fit on the side of Ruka Fizzle. Thank you for the correction. Oh, who -ha. gets the grab? Both about 120 percent. I'm not sure. If there's a realistic KO chance here, but it still looks pretty intense. Go back to neutral. Oh, gets the punish, gets the grab, drills him into the ground. Up he goes. They're keeping it very close here. Blocks the entire string. And gets him off the stage. Doesn't follow up, instead decides to heal. Smart choice. Tries to hit him with the volleyball, but he was invincible. Oh, and he gets thrown off. Should be able to recover here. Throws a volleyball for good measure. 180% here. He's ridiculously close to getting knocked out. Oh! But they're going back and forth. Thank you, Rampage. Oh, and there we go. That first stock for Ruka Frizzle. Puha loses the stock is what I meant, but he evens it out 2-2, two to two, both at 0%. These guys are going head-to-head -head here. Very, very close match. No clear favorite as far as I'm concerned, mainly because I don't know the players. Oh, throws the Beyblade. Oh, blocks the Sun, drops the Volleyball. Oh, gets hit out of the air, he drops another Sun. Oh, gets worth the grab, up he goes, follows it up with another hit. Oh, hoo -ha has to be very careful, he's eating a lot of projectiles right now. And he's not really hitting back as hard, now he does. You see these guys play way more uh, on the stage, like play, play the neutral way more than the others. Like in the Yoshi match we saw like a lot of spike kills, we saw them a lot just floating around, now they're on the stage. Trying to play a clean game of Smash here. Nice block. Oh! Gets the knockout. 2-1. Two to Rook of Frizzle in the lead. But he has taken a lot of damage. 130% to zero. So who has a realistic chance of evening this out without taking too much damage himself. He has to be careful here. Oh, but the spike ends the game in a very clear manner. Rook of Frizzle takes game number one.
I mean, it would be the ultimate troll if you guys just told me that Rocket Prison plays Wii Fit. And he ends up being like a uh, robot. <laughs> I don't know. Wait, these names are... Man, this is weird. These names are all over the place. This is correct for this screen, but in-game it kind of switches. Well, you know who plays who. Alright, we'll just swap it around as we go. Correct that. Look at Puzzle on Wii Fit. Oh, there's the music. Is that like Animal Crossing in the background? That's sick. Alright, back to the match though. Hoo ha! Dropping a lot of damage here. So far, it's not looking too bad for him. But he has to be careful because we saw what Rocket Prison can do if you give him a lead. Salutations, indeed. Hits the volleyball, even HP now. Ooh, that was a pretty sick laser. Look at Prizzle. Not able to recover clean, though. Gets hit a little bit by the, by the main light, but it's cool. Oh! hoo -ha, now just juggling him. Keeping, keeping him in jail, keeping him off the stage. Oh, Look at Prizzle able to recover. Using the volleyball. Who just bounces the laser perfectly, heals midair, gets the volleyball just to secure his recovery. Puha now at 160%, it's not looking too hot for him, but both have three stops. It's still very early in the game. Rooka Frizzle, however, establishes a very clear lead, a game and a stock ahead. Y'all got some sick stage music. Nintendo licenses. Definitely the payoff. I'm not quite sure what the sun does, but it looks pretty cool. Basically, uh, mainly because she's like praising the sun. Oh, and he gets the spike! Rooka Frizzle is just ruthless here. Doesn't care how much damage he's taken. He's gonna jump off stage and he's gonna drop you ass. Big lead right here. Uha, one stock away from dro uh, dropping to losers. Oh, but he stays alive, fighting. Two for male here. It's gonna be a really tough one for him, though. He's already at 76%, and he's down a stock. In his last winners. Bracket stock potentially. Oh, gets into the volleyball. He can't eat too many of those. It's getting very, very tight for Huha. Is Rook of going to go for the down smash? And there you go. Gets the spike. Very, very clear victory here. All right, so I'm just a streamer, guys, or, you know, just a commentator. So I don't actually know who's going to play next or what's going to happen. All I know is uh, that I got you. You're here with me. And uh, I'm not just saying that to be like uh, to, to seem nice or whatever. I'm saying that because I actually <laughs> need you because I don't know much about Smash. Yet they put me on commentary. I'm joking, I put myself in commentary, but they can get me off at any time. I had an actual player with me here just a second ago, uh, you know, helping me figure this stuff out. But unfortunately, he's gone. It was a uh, Jormund Gondor. Oh, okay, I got, I got another two players, but I need your names. Give me a second. Oh, double R, A, K. 
Oh wait, he's. Okay, gotcha. There we go. Let's put the OPS in there as well for good measure. Oh shit. Shoot. That should be uh, just about right. Right? Wait. Now it's correct. All right. Everybody at home knows uh, knows these players. I hope, because you know, I don't. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna get the characters right. But oh, it's gonna be Isabel versus Gwen Ninja. Okay, thank you for telling me. Now all I need you to do is tell me who's gonna be who. <laughs> Koshi, Burokoshi, Burokoshi. Alright, they're getting set up right here. Oh, they're gonna enter the names. That, that's gonna make stuff way easier. Jokos is a well, Koshi is for ninja. Thank you. Chaka plays dog. That works as well. I know. I, I've played. I've played uh, Animal Crossing: New Horizons. I know Isabel at least. <laughs> so we're fine on that front. And Greninja, of course, you know, one of the coolest Pokemon there is. Right. Wait. I actually got my. I got my. Uh, I got the main commentator back here. But only for one round, sadly, and afterwards I am on the stream. Ah. And then I expect from you to go commentating to all the Tekken brother. I mean, I've got to I've gotta try. <laughs> I think I did an okay job in my solo commentary. Ooh, we have just a few minutes Chaka. ago. Okay, we have to turn the... All right, swapping it around. We got Jaka playing Isabel. Animal Crossing uh, Conflict Management Pro. And we got Birokoshi playing Grand Ninja. Not and we already see Chaka's annoying spacing, which he does perfectly. I never saw a player um, like Chaka who uses the rod so efficiently like Chaka. It's really annoying too. Wait, what does he use? The fishing rod. Oh. Oh, and he gets oh. the balloon and oh pushes it no. on the stage. Oh, nice taking of the balloons. Heartbreaking to see him lose a stock like that, but it's fine. I'm sure Jocker can recover, and, and he's recovering like and hell. And did you see how his placement with the rod is? It's just insane. He got it immediately and uh, equaled the stocks and percentage again. I gotta say, we got a lot of uh, Koshi fans in the chat right now. Koshi has his fan base. Ready? Oh, yeah, I see. I expected more for Chaka because he's probably the favorite who wins tonight. But yeah, always high for the underdog. Chaka and it looks really good. Oh, Greninja, of course, no issue recovering at any point here. Yeah, but so far it looks really good for Kauchi. Definitely. Kauchi looking like he might take another stock here. There we go. Two to one. He's in the lead. Of course, he has a little bit of percentage on him, so he has to watch out for that fishing rod. But overall, he's looking, he's sitting pretty. Yeah, and has a really good stock lead at only 50%. Yeah, it doesn't, can't get hit by too much anymore, but as soon as he finds an opening, gets in, it's always bad for Chaka. Chaka really has to watch out that he gets the stock uh, early before he takes too much percentage. Yeah. Oh, he tries to hit him off stage with the fishing rod. And the infinite trap. Nah, but still gets him with the F smash. If he hits him with the fishing rod off stage, it's basically over. Yeah, in the air. He always gets it in the air. Then it will be oh! over. And get really kill. Oh, nice kill from Kauchi. Really I'm good job. with the chat. What are you talking about, underdog? Kauchi is like destroying Chaka. Yeah, and it's insane. I didn't expect it. Whoo, yes. Indeed. Koshi ain't got no time for games, man. He just... Yeah, definitely. <laughs> he just deleted No it. chill at all. Just nice deleted nice it. Nice time just choosing the stage, choosing the music. It looks like there's a new mayor in town. Yeah. 
Right, they're ready to fight here. You can already tell. Both yeah, of them. Couch is high. Yeah. Let's see how he does now on town and city. Counter pick stage from Chaka. And so far, Gauchi still managed I to mean, keep the lead. It's home turf for him right now, being an Animal Crossing character. He is got, careful we got of his... slider in the back, I like it. Yeah, what I'm also surprised is that usually when, uh, this, when I play against Chuck, he plays much more around his uh, Lloyd. But now at the moment, he really gets away from him and tries to get offensively in, even though uh, Isabel is a right defense character. Oh. Ooh, and gets him with the fishing rod. <laughs> like I said at the start, Chaka's fishing rod uh, is so disgusting. Yeah, and he was able to recover clean here. He's at 89%. Yeah, Isabel and uh, Vilcher have one of the best recoveries in the whole game. Oh. But they're quite vulnerable at it too. But if you manage uh, to take the balloons out like Kauchi did in the first uh, round, then... Then she's screwed. Yeah, then she's screwed big time. Ooh. But nice fair coming in from Kauchi. Does the KO up and on the offense and gets the kill. Finishes the job. Of course, he's very happy to play these offstage games with Greninja. Has absolutely no issue doing it, but he has to be careful against Chaka. And he takes it with the up smash. Nice placement for him. Do we see some big combos? No, Lloyd locked the big... Green Ninja combo. Yeah, Green Ninja really has some insane combos where you can't get out of it, but we said you don't really see them at the moment, but if from the neutral point, uh, Gauchi does a really good job in keeping Chaka on the run. Yeah, but we see Gauchi just going for these risky plays just a bit too often. I mean, it's worked out in game number one. He was able to destroy Chaka very quickly, but he's got to be careful not to let this slip through his hands. Some That's calm collected play could get him the win. But if he gets hit by too many fishing rods, he might be looking at a game number three. Yeah, he also has to look out that he doesn't get too many uh, fares in because they slowly take a really a lot of percentage in. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, gets, gets spot hit. dodge. Hit by the net. So Over 100%. Oh, is he going to hit the fishing rod? And that's Oh, there we go. It. Game. All right, 1-1. Uh, one, one. He's gonna go to game three. Yeah, I think the moment that Chaka got him off stage with the fishing rod really screwed up his game plan a bit. All right, chat. Kochi needs your help right now. He's on the back foot. He just lost the game that he, sh that he feels like he should have won. He wanted to end this quickly, but... Now we're going to game three and... Not uh, all. Put your hands up and give him your energy. Yeah, if... if, if Koshi takes this too lightly, he might just drop down to losers, and you don't want to see this. It's not over, indeed. Give this man some power. At the same time, you can't count Jokka out. He has shown amazing play in game number two. Yeah, he kept pressure really and kept hitting his, his up smash at very critical points. Yeah, it looks like Jokka found his openings to Gochi's game plan. Yeah. Look pretty good for Kochi. Let's see if he's able to adapt here. It's gonna be important because Jaka has definitely done that. Yeah, it has to be really careful. He got the percentage somewhat back. Yeah. Now he really has to look out that he gets into the lead and can keep it. Yeah, it's about even, but on an even game, I'd give it to Isabel. Just because of that fishing rod. I mean, it KO'd him at very, very surprising points. Yeah, usually on even point, it should be better for Gauchi, for Greninja, but you don't really see his setups where he gets uh, the grounded spike to the F-smashes and stuff like that. Yeah. Gets a fishing rod on the platform. Side B sadly a bit placed, not so good on the stage. And oh. answers with a down smash and media right. equals it out. My dear people, we have a game here. They took their first stocks back to back. Chaka They're already even out. with a good 40% lead. But Gachi doesn't sleep on it and immediately goes back in. Oh, just look at these players. They're so hyped focused right now. They know that this is a close game. They know that it could go anyone's way. So far, both doing a really good job. Don't uh, let no one get hit stupid. Yeah. Now we have a start. 
gets the jab lock. Ooh, nice combo. Finally, we see some good Greninja combos. It's about time. Oh. Ground pounds him. That's the back air, keeps him off stage. Very That's good. Very nice good. edge guard from Gauchi and takes the stock with only 50%. Off stage, definitely Greninja's strong suit right here. And he knew <laughs> As it, and long he as he doesn't get hit by the rod. <laughs> of course, yeah. But he knew that keeping Jaka off stage was the key to taking that stock. And he took that opportunity. Beautiful play. Nice air dodge read. Now it Jaka looks like Gauchi is really in his uh, zone, zone right now. Yeah. Oh, Sadly gets hit by the rod. So far, as long as he can, nice counter it on the Lloyd. Ooh, 100 and again, the damage. He has to be careful for the fishing rod. It's gonna, it's gonna eliminate him here if he gets hit by it, especially off stage. You yeah, with that rage on Isabel. Oh, he got the invincibility. Oh, again, gets back air. Oh, Jaka oh. able to avoid Recall any nice. off stage play. He's and down the back throw. Will it do it? No. Not quite. He's down to his last stock. He has but he's ready. to be careful oh, here. Already was ready with the uh, counter. But so far, it looks really good. Does he get that? No, misses oh, the... Nice block. Oh, and oh, he just nice dodges whip. the net. Gets back in for the punish. Will he get the loss in? Counter! Oh! And that's it for Chaka. Gauchi beats Chaka. Game. Nice play from both players. Really hype match. Whew. All right, Greninja coming out on top. <laughs> Gachi definitely pleasing the people at home. We got a lot of happy viewers right now. Hey, Alton, nice game. <laughs> so, looks like it's my turn now. All right. You're going to be playing who? It's a bit of Shototai. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I'm excited to see that. Yeah. Ten men in the house. Who are you going to be playing? Who uh, is your Dragon opponent? Comet. Dragon Comet. Yes. That's a pretty sick name. I'm just gonna. I'm sure the chat is able to correct me if I get it wrong, but I'm just gonna write it how I think it's written. Swap it around. And there we go. Chat, tell me, is this correct? Do you have Jormungandr fighting Dragon Comet? Or should I write it differently? Because I'm not sure here. As long as I don't hear anything else, he's gonna ju just be called Dragon Comet. But in the meantime, they're getting set up. I'm sure side selection is not a thing in, in, uh, in Smash. Or it might be. I don't know. It just seems like you move, move around so much, it doesn't matter in the end. Drago? Okay. At least I got the first five levels correct. Let's transition to the game. We got Ken fighting Zelda. I think. I'm not sure. But we're off. It's going to be Dragon Cars fighting your own gun. Let's switch the names around one more time because we're going to keep doing that for some reason. And then we should be correct here. All right, so we got a Street Fighter character here. I know a little bit more, more about that. Alright, nice block. Grand Comet able to recover. But he's taking a lot of damage and I didn't even notice. Oh, gets Shoryuken and it's a knockout! First stock going down easily. Oh, Jormungandr has to be careful though. He has to recover here. He's been hit mid-air quite a few times. Shoryuken to get back onto the stage. Tries to get a mid-air Hadouken. Tries to chase her down, takes a bunch of damage for the attempt though. So you could to get back on, nice block. Doesn't get, get hit by the knight. No one gonna definitely try to keep his lead. Is it gonna get it? Is it gonna get the 3-0? Not losing a single stock. 
looking pretty good. Dragon Comet, at least in game number one, seems to be outmatched. Maybe a lack of experience in the Ken matchup. Oh, fights back though. All he's got. Oh, he's at 160, 170%. Ooh. He might ruin this perfect game here. Well, perf as perfect as it gets, I guess. He might ruin his 3 0. You already know the Pyoma Dunder wants it. A little bit of prestige. Oh! Getting super close here. I'm not sure you can might do it. A very frail character. Oh, nice block. Gets a little bit of punish with the jump again. We kick and he gets his first stock. Drag covered is in. He's not gonna give up without a fight. But he might be forced into submission here. 120% on his last stock. Tries to combo the low kicks. Got Smucky to stay on the stage. Oh, and there we go. Kicks him right off. And Yorba gonna take game number one in a convincing manner. Getting into game number two here. Yom Gunder is a game in the lead. Dragon Comet, the underdog in this matchup, as far as I can tell. Oh, we got a Ken fan in the chat. Hadoken, blocked by the Knight. Oh, ooh, nice combo. Two low kicks into the overhead. Dragon Comet doing everything in his power, however, to keep the percentages even. But Ken has, has I mean, oh! either, either Zelda is a super frail character or Ken has insane damage output. Whatever it is, Yormagondor is taking advantage of it. Oh, nice. Tries to keep him in the air. He's juggling him off the stage and he gets that stock two to two way better play from dragon comet in game number two here he's down about half when it comes to the percentages and we see we saw him at about 80 percent get eliminated by show you can so he has to watch out for that play oh there we go that's what i was talking about two one now dragon comet is on his last stock Tries to keep him in jail. Tries to keep him off the stage. Has the knight ready. Throws fireball after fireball. Another knight built, but he gets destroyed before he gets to attack. Oh, sure you could. A lot of damage. Doesn't get get hit by the Hadouken mid-air. Thankfully. Uses the knight to block the sure you can. Uh, the Hadouken. Dragon Comet is trying his best to even out the stocks, and he does! Both down to one stop. But Dragon Comet is in kill range! And it's over! Game 2-0 for Jormungandu. Challenge me after some practice. Cocky Ken. Oh, what? what's happening? Oh, okay, okay, they're, they're picking up their stuff. I thought I missed the game or something. Just run up, show you. You gotta believe. I mean, it worked. Right next. 
set of tires is getting ready. Alright, but it's at this point that I am gonna have to leave for a little bit, or maybe for a lot of bit. I don't know, I'm not sure. But, you know. I'm gonna leave it to Young Under here to, to do a little bit of solo commentary and take over the stream. Cause I just gotta, you know, I just gotta take the walk. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so ah. Now we have Silver versus Kepler. Kepler, one of the best players and with Peachy, one of the best uh, snake players we have in Switzerland. So Kepler versus Silver. So. Now let's, <laughs> yay, Sui, let's go Ken. Well, Peach, you don't have to say anything. You camp either way. Oh, for all glasses users, this mask is so annoying. But yeah, uh, what do you want to do? So, I'm quite interested to see how Silver will handle himself against Kepler. But what uh, um, annoys me really is that if you, I think if you swap players, it won't. Ah, no, it won't do it on the screen. So, no, never mind that. What I always really uh, enjoy to see at Kepler's uh, snake is the movement he trained for himself. Oh shit. Chicks. 50% uh, up till death. That will be funny. Okay, he doesn't play uh, snake as it seems. I didn't even know he had a uh, oh, what was his name again? Fancy character, right? Joker, right? Didn't know he had a Joker. I hope he plays Joker against me. I don't want to play his fucking snake. But let's see. Silver holds himself quite well. Oh shit. Where are we today? Is this uh, Upset City today or Upset Thursday? What do you mean? Uh, Mike or me? But yeah. I think, don't know, you're the better matchup uh, expert with Ike. Doesn't, um, when he gets in, sure, it will be annoying for uh, Ike, but in the neutral, shouldn't Ike have a uh, better neutral because of his range, except for uh, Joker's gun? Sorry, but for Swiss puffs, I have to uh, step in for Snorchef. He's the only pop player in my heart. <laughs> but got punished heavily for his sleep. Let's see how Kepler will adapt to this disadvantage he's in at the moment. Nice on the shield punish. Ooh, was close before creating his shield. But so far, a really good job from Silver with his spacing. Oh, 
one, one more Nair and that would have been it. Maybe he was out of jump. Nice side here. Ooh, now it even kept getting close. One down there or something like that. Yeah, he already fishes for it. Or something. No fucking way. I said the uh, chick main of my heart, not uh, the best chick. But what I see so far is chicks looks really nice and solid. I was surprised that, uh, that we have a uh, really good uh, other chicks player. It's like 10 mains, they died out. No one wants to play them. Ooh, Sadie, a bit of wrong B readers. Yeah, me too, I really enjoy what I see at the moment. Ah, Sadie misses the Nair. Maybe that would even have been it because. Uh, Ooh, away from it. So far it looks really good for Silver. Even has some, one more stock and our sense out of the way. But gets caught with back air from Kepler. So far, yeah, he, Kepler noticed that he really is a tech uh, joiner. Boom. Now one nice. Good. And gets punished for the slow ups, um, up beat. Yeah, you can really punish his up call there. So let's see, will Cap... Ah, I totally missed it. Did he switch his character or does he stay with... Uh Oh no, stupid's first. <laughs> I, was, I was back in Smash 4 where you were first choose a character. Stop battle. So let's see. Oh, please pick Incineroar. Shoot. Yeah, no, come. Go back, Kepler. Pick Incineroar. I want to see it. I love his Incineroar. It also would, I think, somewhat work. But it looks like he's thinking about... Whoa, Whoa interesting. Never, I never actually see, uh, saw his wolf. So let's see. So that already takes a small mini. But if he wanted it for the projectile, Joker also has another bad one. But gets immediately punished for his over aggressive behavior. Yeah, maybe Kepler wants to test it out a bit, uh, some characters for uh, Saturday's uh, tournament. Mm. But surprisingly, for never seeing his uh, wolf, is good in the league. Ooh, that could have been a kill. Yeah, now he does it out of shield on it. Wolf really has a strong up smash out of shield. That's it, I'm quite surprised how well he does with you. And gets side beat and doesn't kill, even though Chick's so alive. Ooh, that would have been punished better. Gets the up smash with the Panic Air dodge. And took his first stock and is now in the lead. And even Rex more damage. Silver really has to finish him off now. Ah, missed him by a hair. Otherwise it would have been a really nice edge guard. But so far, Silver struggles a bit to find the answer to get the kill. Really nice to watch out and, and will it do it? No, I think it was a soft spot back air. Strong moment at that point. And there he is. With only 50% lead, maybe two good placed side Ds would take him back, but so far it looks quite good for Kepler. Now 50% lead. Ooh, that's gonna that's a dive. 
Ah, maybe I was sure that it worked, but... Ah, the rest would have been awesome on the top platform. But I don't even think it would have killed. Maybe it was just a missing hit. Ooh, that could also be an ending arrest. He had the ro roll -y. Yeah, definitely. I was surprised. Maybe it would have killed, don't know. Ooh, Kepa already fishes again with his unconscious. Really? Okay, no, um, Wolf isn't that heavy, but... Uh, Silver really has to take out the stock as quickly as possible, so he won't get get up more percentage because so far it doesn't look good for him. Ooh, trades, but doesn't get the kill. Nice jump from Kepa to get out of the situation. Get safety back to the stage. Ah, ooh, close, and gets punished with the dash attack. Silver equals it out. Let's see if he can back. And maybe if he gets a nice downer to approach. But still, he has a long way to go. Wolves at 6%. It will take a while and save play. The fire has to really watch out that he doesn't get hit uh, from a gentle move. Nair. I think even a Nair now would kill. Ooh, nice approach of the side B. Ah, and they trade, and Kepler takes this round. Yeah, I'm surprised that he switches to Wolf. I don't know if he wants to try a new character or... But it actually worked. Maybe he wasn't uh, sure himself to play with Joker against his pop. Yeah, maybe, because Wolf isn't that heavy of a character. But still, 40% is quite low. I don't know if the fair combo even works in the percentage. Yeah, sure. Ah, oh, it still goes for Incineroar now. Okay, he's just testing out some characters. Okay, yeah. Maybe we would have. Okay, now I wanna see some nice charged side piece. Let's see how this goes. We're already at 40%. Yeah, Kepler is also far more familiar with uh, Incineroar because it's still his second, I think. to be for the win. Ooh, nice Larian almost killed it. And nice based F smash takes out the first stock of Silver. Nice counter. Already fishes for the side. That looks like Silver lost. Oh, that was kind of oh that will be a rest. Or not. Okay. Incineroar, quite a heavy character, maybe wouldn't have killed with the rest. Lord, it worked! But I think a down smash would have been better because it would have knocked uh, Incineroar more downwards and he has a bad recovery. But still, ooh, nice tech, but that's it for his stuff. Sadly, didn't got the ledge with uh, another time, waited a bit too long. And Silver's on his last stop in winners. Again with the rest. No misses, sadly, the. Who uh, almost killed him! He just wants the rest, man. And he didn't kill! Oh, sadly for Silver, the sad miss and the sadly not killing him. Oh, 2-1 for Kepler after the first round with Joker. Oh, but I almost thought that uh, the up smash would have killed Jigglypuff. <laughs> 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 
Der Absmash hätte ich fast gemeint, der killt ey. Das wäre voll lustig gewesen. Das wäre aber lustig, ja. Er hat weniger hoch glaubst, geschmissen. Ja, es hat einfach viel Space Nair to Jumping Side B. Ja. 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 Und nicht nur die. Der Funk war am Anfang auch dabei. Ja, ja. X-Fade ist also hier. Okay, you two. I need your name. Rock up Jodl. 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 So we have probably our best and only what was it? Tuning player. Against our boy Ruckepfnüssel. Yeah, sorry Mike, you already left uh, after he said hi. But so far, really interesting matches we see today. <laughs> Delete Besky. Yeah, Marie, I, I played once against his Toon Link uh, with my Young Link and was a real fun match. But uh, I don't. I never played uh, against him with one of my main characters. If I'm honest, I'm not sure who I <laughs> would pick. Also, but I'm really happy to see his uh, tuning. I haven't seen too much of it. <laughs> Why resident tuning match? Well. Now we know Yodel screwed it up for us. He already gets the first. I uh, always risk him with his down air. He really likes to do him. Now let's see how gets the first advantage. Also play Rukopfnüsse with a really annoying fitness uh, training. Ooh, nice damage and combo from Jodl. Really nice coverage with his bombs. <laughs> Still walks into the bomb. Oh, the down thing has a really good hitbox to get him right there. I said he misses the back there. I think it wouldn't have killed either way because it wasn't really uh, not that much bad. Ooh, grabs him out of the Almost hits him with the uh, football. Do a nice catch with the RP and kills. Yodi takes the first stop. Really nice bomb placement and projectile management. Uh, what do you know with. Uh, ah! Don't even know about which sport you're talking about. But so far, Jodl extends his lead and does a really good job in uh, keeping Rukopfnizzi out of his range. So far, both really relying strong of the projectiles, but Jodl really has a better management at the moment. Ooh, that was gonna punish. And sadly, he reacted a bit slow. <laughs> that stupid tilt almost there. And just walks right into the bomb. Lots of fun, really nice traps from Yodel we're seeing here. Again with the Oppie and it kills. Catches him again from the air dodge. So far Yodel took um, managed to get a really nice lead. Now his first stock's also gone. And let's see. If Rukopfnüsse found a way to get inside uh, the project I mentioned is Jodl. So far, low shield. But didn't do a, Isn't it true anymore with the up air? After the up air, you should. Maybe he thought he uh, didn't get it. Ooh. Ah, luckily he got on the stage and didn't got stage spike. 
But so far, quite even on the percentage. But it looks like Rodel, even on this last dog of Lucas, takes again the lead. Nice pivot grab, takes him out again, really watches that he always has the advantage. Yeah, probably is really top 3. It's really strong player. Again, will it kill? All 3 kills with his up B. <laughs> and you just see how Rocket Finance is annoyed by it. But still, both players are laughing and that's how it should be. But really nice management from the audio. Yeah. Rockefeller really got hit by a lot of bombs, which he should have expected. But still, Max Enfield says, play blade for the win. But so far, Rockefeller really has to uh, see how he will manage to get in. Both keep to their uh, Three, characters. Two, one, go! And let's see how this round goes. Yeah. Quite surprised with the lilac uh, switch. Okay, the, ball, the football really flies strangely on this map, and if he's used to it, it's definitely a good play. But also the downwards boomerang are... Also I favor a downwards boomerang because it's really good to throw one. Nice re-catch with the bomb. Tried it again but seldom is. No upbeat this time. Maybe he doesn't want to stack it. So far he really keeps Rukutfnus out quite well. Only 10% so far. But the first really has to find his way in. But Yul just doesn't give him any space. Bomb's coming, got him, but sadly <laughs> knocked him himself and the ball maybe even saved him with the trade-in. But so far on 150%. Oh, down, up and punish and that's it. And only at 18%, Luka really has to find a way. <laughs> Sneaky ball. Maybe has to rely a bit less on projectiles because Yodus is just better and a bit more calmly getting into the fight. But so far, Yodel. Ah, Windbox. A nice smash player since 90 something. Ah, Sadie misses the ball. But it looks like Rukutfus has found a bit of a way in. Ah, close with the spy. If, if Rukufusa can keep this up, he will probably be able to do a comeback, but now, again, back at the ledge against Yodel. Ooh, close move from both. Close with him. The Afro will take him out. And the spike to equal out the stocks. But if Rukufus really has to turn on the game he had before, or... Joden will leave him in the dust. And the... Was, was a fair, right? I don't think back there will kill that. But still, really nice uh, aerial from Joden. Sadly for me, I only know uh, Smash 4 Toon Link, uh, not uh, Smash Ultimate Toon Link. But so far, Joden keeps him outside and Rukut Fusen really is... Gates is stays back with a ball! That ball was just amazing! But still, Joden quite in the lead and Rukut Fusen has to find a way in. Get some percentage in. Ooh, maybe even a punch now. No, that was probably even maybe his last chance to make a comeback against Joden. But so far, it doesn't look that bad. Up air almost kills. Who will take it? It's close for both. No punish. 
Yodel again with his boomerang and bombs. Ooh, ball almost hits him. Bit late with the and the no punish from Rupertnissen. Doesn't get Yodel, it's really close. Nice dash attack. Ball doesn't hit. Really careful. Oh, bomb got him. Will the back throw take it? No. Real close game. Both can be the deceiving winner. Oh, nice weight on the roll from Rukov Nizel. Oh, both get hit by the projectors. The ball. Right. Oh. Nice try from Rokepfnuse to take a rollback grab, but Jodl immediately rolled in and got the conversion with his bomb. Really interesting match at the end, you couldn't decide who will be the winner. Really close and interesting match. Hm? Let's go. So, maybe... Hat er jemand hochgeschickt, der Kommentating kann machen kann? Ja, ich weiß. Das ist, ja, kannst du kurz eine Frage über einen aufschicken? Kann? Well then, it looks like it's me against Kepler. It's been a while since I played against him, so... Let's see how it goes. Well then, let's see who's coming for the commentator. We have a bit of time because Kepler also left at the moment. Well, but I dare him. If he plays... Uh, a snake against me and get, uh, against every other player, just a random character. Oh, that will be annoying. And maybe we even have to do the match without commentating. Well, do we have one? Ah.
Mission accomplished.
charged.
Also, danke für mal alle fürs Zuschauen. Das war es von unserem Stream heute. Der Jakob muss leider auf den Zug gehen. Und ich wünsche euch ganz einen ganz schönen Abend und freue mich, was Süßes. Tschüss zusammen!